say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. Of course, it will hailstone when we need to go to the vets. Um, yeah. Let's go see your song about baby girl. So in the background, just doing her thing. I'll still be talking. So today has been stressful. Oh my god, has today been stressful? I'm gonna put this. <laughs> <laughs> That's like hold my tea or something, and it's just like yes. Well. We set an alarm to wake up for nine for Alba's well. appointment. <laughs> one seemed inappropriate. <laughs> And um, I had a phone call at like half past seven. <sighs> Doctors, finally got my sputum sample back, hence why I look this rough. I do have another chest infection. It's actually affecting my lungs quite bad, um, like with the wheezing and out of breath and coughing up shit. My sputum had like blood stains in it this evening but we managed to get a prescription sorted job done she then said that hematology won't see me for my iron deficiency and they said that i need to be referred to gastro and we've already been with gastro and <sighs> it's been a wild with wild ride with them from them telling me that my gastro stuff is in my head to me demanding to have tests done, to the, do, them doing the tests, to them showing that I do have gastroparesis and malnutrition, but they couldn't face me again, so they discharged me. So this is going to be fun going back to them, but if it helps get the anemia sorted, whatever. Then I had another call from a builder because they wanted to see a, about sorting the drain out in our garden they wanted to get a quote they were supposed to be coming next week but they managed to get someone come this morning but i was like well we're not here um but because they just needed to go in the garden and they did that then we went to alba's appointment and she was so stressed out she was crying she was just she couldn't settle. So in the end, I raised my legs. I put her on my lap and she semi-settled. Um, she was almost... <laughs> she had her good leg had fallen between my legs and was pointing at Soph. And then the bad leg was just on top. And we got to see the really lovely um vet that's there who's looked after us since the beginning she's the practice manager as well um she had a little play around with alba's leg the exact same thing that i did and identified as well that it wasn't in her leg that for why she wasn't walking um and then she started playing around with her foot and was going through each of the digits and like with me like i found it was her little toe Okay, dogs don't have little toes, but it's like this one on the outside of her back right foot. Um, and poor Alba, she was properly crying and she was like... God, this, this is inappropriate. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'm sorry. Um, she was pulling her leg back and she was like crying and it was just, it was horrible. Um, but... She thinks that she's damaged her ligaments. Like, talk about keeping it in the family with Soph and I damaging our ligaments. Um, she strapped it up again. Um, we did have it strapped up, 
but what we did was we took it off for the appointment today so that they would be able to access her foot easier and have a look um so they've put it back up um i'll put a picture on here of what it looks like because it's really super cute um they gave her an injection that was pain relief and like anti-inflammatories and we've also got tablets which is the same thing to give like midday every day and then we need to re-see them next tuesday um just to hopefully see that there's progress she is still a bit iffy and not 100 percent walking with the back leg we'll put a little cute video in here because you know it's really adorable So after the vets, we go to the doctors to get my prescription. <sighs> Soph was there for about 45 minutes in the queue. In a queue. At one point when I counted, I was eighth in the queue. That's how many little... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's cool. They did do it right. That's how many little armies this dude's got. And at one point, there was 15 people queuing behind Soph. It was mad. It was ridiculous. And they had less than an hour before they shut for lunch. Mm. And not all of those people who had been waiting there for like they wouldn't have been seen. 40 minutes, they wouldn't have been seen. So they no. would have gotten to the front of the queue to be told. And been told, sorry, bye bye. we're not going to be here for another two hours, you've got to leave. Yeah, which is really crap. So then we go to Tesco's to get the prescription and then do some light shopping. <laughs> get in the queue and it says that it's going to be 45 minutes and we're like, fine, we'll just go up and down every aisle. Which is annoying, but it's what it is. Yeah. Then we get there. Bearing in mind, this is a very common drug that I need. But I need this one because it's sensitive to the bug that's in my chest and it's resistant to an another bug, so, uh, another anti bug. So that ain't gonna do shit. And yeah, basically this is the only. I'm on currently. a third one at the minute, which is doing nothing. So this is the only drug that is gonna do it. For the pharmacy to say that they don't have it in stock, they've been trying to order it, but the supplier's not got any. This... Which, for the type of drug it is, is not good. Mm -mm. Um, they said to try the pharmacies in town. But the problem is, the suppliers are probably going to be the same. Mm -hmm. Or very similar. So and, and the problem with Boots as well is... You know you the history know with that. all of the trouble we've had with Boots. And we couldn't have sent it... We couldn't have got the doctors to send it down... <sighs> Because we wouldn't have been able to get it delivered until Monday anyway. No. Nope. In which case we're already wasting another like a whole weekend. But then also at the same time, we couldn't really go into town because it's... we had the girls, yeah. so we couldn't leave them in the car and then wander into town because it's nowhere near the cars. And I'm not leaving no. the girls in the car for that length of time. No. And it was, it was just stressful. And I'm pretty sure I came, like, extremely close to having a panic attack. Because mm. um, the whole time we were going around Tesco's, and for, like, it was an so hour busy after we got and... home, my chest felt weird. And it I was felt just happy. a morning of stress from half seven. We didn't end up eating, like, we ate our first bit of food and had, the mo like, our morning meds at half past two this afternoon. Mm. Like... It should have been simple, like, wake up, go to Alba's appointment, get the prescription, get meds, get some shopping, come home. And it just turned into so much more, which... Which is why this little dude's coming out right now. Yeah. We found some little shoes for Nova, I'll put a picture in here. They are adorable. But we're angry with the manufacturer. With Disney. We're it's angry with, angry with Disney. Disney. Disney have labelled that they have to be boy, like they're boys' shoes because they're black and they're Mickey Mouse. Why? Like, why do they have to have the word boys on them? Like, like it, it specifically says something along the lines of well, boys. You'll put I'll the put the label, label in. in. Here. You should really put your hand in this, it's very nice and snuggly. 
I did when I like flipped it inside out, inside and out to make sure it worked and the stitching was good. How long did you keep your hand in there for? Enough to stuff the foam in. I did it enough. Oh. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh my shoulder! It's really bad that they're genderizing clothes so spe so specifically when it's like twenty twenty two. Yeah. It is. Um, yes. And okay. Then, People still think blue is boys and pink is girls. Which which. But. <sighs> which kind of brings us onto the dummy situation. Which have we discussed that before? In there's a company called Nam. Or MAM. -A -M. Is it MAM? M-A-M. Oh, I always thought it was NAM. No. Um, and they, that makes more sense. And they um, make dummies. And you went in the other day, didn't you? And you mm -hmm. saw them. And then I saw, them, like, you showed me today. And what they've got is they've got two double packs of dummies. We'll put in a picture here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, one pack is I Love Mummy, which are all pink. And the other pack is I Love Daddy, which, which is, is all blue. It's great because we often find that when things are like I Love Mummy and I Love Daddy, we're, we're like, well, what's the point in buying it? Because we don't have, like, the daddy side. Yeah, so it's good that they've got I Love Mummy in one pot and I Love Daddy in another pot. However, <sighs> we don't understand why the I Love Daddy ones are blue and the I Love Mummy ones are pink because... Uh, boys most not have people, mums and girls yeah, not have dads and, and most people with dummies and like with baby clothes and stuff would give pink to a girl and blue to a boy yeah. especially like when they are a bit younger because a lot of people don't like, like when they're when bold people, and things yeah, like that a lot of people don't like it when people misgender their babies mm -hmm. so like we were just a bit confused as to why they didn't just put a pink and a blue one in each or Make them neutral, neutral in colours. That like pink and blue together, or something like mix the colours up. Yeah, because <laughs> now there's like it's like we're going backwards. Yeah, it's like there's, and I know that obviously we're pinpointing the colour situation, but we're only doing that because unfortunately we know what people do. Um, mm -hmm. and I just I I don't understand it. I really don't. No. It's like, come on, move forward with the times and either do something that's all inclusive or do something to change your product line altogether because it's, it's not good. Yeah, because you could say, well, the I love mummy is pink because it's mummy and I love daddy is blue because it's daddy. But, but people don't put, tend to no, put that, pink that... dummies on a boy. No, that is strange in itself for that that way of thinking. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and also in this day and age, you can't necessarily say every family so much that yeah got either a mummy, a dad, a daddy, or just daddies, or just mummies, or if they have any genders at all. Exactly. So it's like it's kind of being stereotypical about what a family should have within it or whatever and it's just yeah it's not good it's just like it just rubbed us the wrong way we just, it did we just didn't appreciate it really it was just something on top of something on top of something else like just as the day went and yeah. we were just picking up on these things and yeah. noticing it and, and while we were out on the way to tesco's via from the doctors the doorbell went <laughs> and charlie was sat there trying to scream through the camera i was like hello hi Hiya! Oh, you won't have her. Um, sorry. But yeah, trying to scream through the camera and they weren't listening because it wasn't working properly and then whatnot. And then they drove off, but thankfully they actually put the parcels where I asked them to do it. They did have a dog in their van and it was very super cute. And I did t quickly take a. Who delivered it? Um, don't know. They, I took a, a screenshot quickly and I'll put it in here, I'll show you afterwards. Um, but that dog is so freaking cute. Just the way it's sat is hilarious. And I would be so scared if it was Pickle because Pickle would jump out of that car with the way it's sat. Yeah. There was a dog in, like, I checked um, outside earlier at some point because there was a van out there and there was a lot of clattering and, like, the alarm went off and I mm. didn't know where the alarm was coming off to. And I checked out the front and there was a 
DPD van out there, and, I saw and that. they had a dog in the car. And what was happening was the dog was moving and setting the alarm off. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. <laughs> cute dog though. Yeah. So yes, that's been our day. It's currently the seventh of January. This is probably not going to go up for a good few days again. So I just you thought I'd add that little nugget. Occurring here, we, we, we will eventually get back on track. Get back on track, but Christmas and all that. Just not caught up yet. No. Yeah, and everything that's going on like this year, <laughs> this year already has been a great one, isn't it? <laughs> My mum going into she went into hospital. I didn't even say that to you guys. Did you not? I don't think so because we weren't vlogging. Um, um, my sister rang at like half one in the morning. It was it was two-ish. No, it was quarter past one. I remember it being it? zero one fifteen because uh, I turned and said, "Well, what was... she sent me a message saying, are you awake?'" And then rang at the same time. Oh uh, yeah. And I was like, "Well, what's the point? What's point? Yeah, what is the point of the message?" Yeah. But she rang to say, "Don't want to stress you out or anything, but I've just had to take Mum to hospital because she has chest pain." She did ring for an ambulance, but after two hours, it hadn't arrived. And I'm like, well, thankfully it wasn't chest pain. And afterwards, we were like, well, good freaking job it wasn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have waited two hours. No, because if it had been and then she went into, like, cardiac arrest or something, Steph would not have been able to have done mm -mm. CPR no. for two hours. No. Well, it would have been more than that. Yeah. Because that was two hours until Steph got there. There was no sign. Um, and, like took her uh, to the hospital wasn't it yeah. so um th yeah thankfully it wasn't her heart there's something going wrong with her gi track as well yeah. and it's causing her to be sick and it's given her pain in her chest pain in her groin and like bladder area um and what else is it she said did i say being sick yeah and it's being also sick. given her like pains in like her shoulders and like her arms and stuff which is why she thought it was something to do with her heart oh and she has had bleeding as well only once i think it was that she's told me but yeah it's just that was on the second i think it was the second of january so that really wasn't a great call and then obviously with alba now with we thought we were breaking her bloody leg me with a chest infection. Is there anything wrong with me yet? No. No, nothing other than just like my neck. But, but you've had more physical stuff like that. I had a panic attack today. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's not the same severity, is it? Well, it is. But... At the same time, it at least it wasn't long, like, extended. I mean, it went on for, like, two hours. But... Yeah, but yeah. what I mean is, like, with my infections, like, it's oh, already yeah, like, been, like, seven weeks. days yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. So at least we've been, like, yeah, that's something that can be... It calmed down once we were home and yeah. we settled and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, this is our new year. Yeah, it's going well so far. It's a great start to 2022. But we're going to chill think? now. Yes, we are. I'm really cold. So I need to check if this back door is open because Which I'm really it cold. Be, <laughs> but it is cold. Yes. And I'm going to take some paracetamol because I know I've got a temperature. Yeah. Did you check it? No, but I'm looking at my face. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and my neck. <laughs> Especially... You've got a temperature, especially with how cold it is. You've, you've got quite a high temperature. It's quite hot. That's got to be 38. It's really hot. Or higher. When I did it earlier, it was 37, 8. So mm. it's probably gone up now because I've not had my paracetamol. So. Yeah, let's get that in. It's four minutes to midnight, so we're going to go and chill. Yeah. Hopefully you'll see this soon. Look how cute they are. He's so stinking cute. And there's a Nova here too. Gorgeous. She's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs>